Welcome once again to Product One YouTube series. Today, we are just looking at uh, answering one of the key questions that I always get from a lot of people to say, my model does not want to mesh, how do I resolve it? So we will be tackling a little bit of that. So if you look here, I'm having a model that I want to do a FEA on. So the first thing you need to remember is your model will never actually mesh if you don't have material. If you attempt to do that, it will obviously fail. So the first thing that I always tell the guys is, uh, please make sure that you assign the material. So now that we've assigned the material, that's a very good start, but it does not necessarily mean that your model will mesh. So now if you don't create your own mesh, you run the analysis, it might take you a while to realize that there's an issue with this model. So the issue with this model, if you can have a look here, we've got overlapping surfaces. So this model was not modeled properly or maybe the designer or it's imported geometry and there's issues like this, all right? So when you do your analysis, you can put in your load and so forth. You can run this model. It will take an incredible long time for you to start getting the results. And ultimately, it might even end up failing and not even give you the results. And it's all because of this. If we create a mesh, basically trying to break this model into small little segments, you will realize something. For starters, it gives you a warning that that surface over there, there's issues. It even tells you that, look, you, you, you might run into issues when you're trying to mesh this. So I don't want to waste time, so I'm going to cancel this. But then it, it will persist. It will say, look, uh, I can even create an approximation of your mesh. So you can say yes and allow it to create an approximation mesh of this. But we don't want to do none of that. We want to fix this problem. So here's what I always tell the guys to do. The first thing you're going to have to do is go into Creo standard mode and obviously create your sketch. So in the sketching environment, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create just a simple sketch just to cover the area of concern. So I don't have to make this perfect. So that's essentially what I have. Now that I've got that sketch, I'm going to now project it onto the surface. So you will see the significance of this in a second. So all that I'm doing, selecting the surface in which I'm projecting my new sketch. And that's it. So all that I have is just a simple sketch in an environment. In fact, if you can see there, ah, yeah, I'm happy with this. Then I'm going to use a normal blend feature. The blend feature, I'm going to obviously select one side and obviously escalate that geometry. Then select the other side. If you can see there, it's starting to create is starting to create my my blend in this instance so oh, there we go just I need to just select there we go right so now I've selected one direction so the second direction will be defined by this edge over here and of course, we continue with this and ultimately we select right through the bottom edge. So now what we've got is a piece of geometry which if we solidify, it's sort of like envelopes. If I were to put this on shaded only, it envelopes the troublesome surface with a nice clean cut surface and that enables you to do the following so if you go now into creo simulate and say create a mesh you get a very nice clean mesh based on what you have here and that's how you fix problematic areas in terms of meshing and that is it for the entire series 
for the simulate um, uh, what you call license or simulate feature or functionality inside Creo uh, parametric. And until next time, uh, goodbye.